Hello, in this video, I would like to talk about the multiprobe impact in physical policy. So in monetary policy, we didn't talk about the multiprobe impact, right? However, in physical policy, it will has multiprobe impact. And then the multipliers we introduce in our slides, it will equal one over one minus MPC. So this MPC represents for marginal propensity of consume. So let's look at this first practice question. If not MPC equal point A, assuming that the multiplier impacts matters and decrease in government spending by $100 billion will shift the aggregate demand curve to which direction and then by how much, okay? So you can notice this MPC now, marginal propensity to consume equal point A, which means in this case, the multiplier will equal 1 over 1 minus 0.8, so it will equal 5. So we have the multiplier impact of this physical policy, contractionary physical policy, equal 5. And then the government just decreased the spending by $100 billion, which will shift the aggregate demand by... So even just the change in government spending will negative 100, right? Because it decreased the government spending by $100 billion. So which will get the change in aggregate demand will equal to the change in government spending times the multiply, okay? Times the multiple. So it will equal to negative $100 billion times five, which will result in a decrease of $500 billion in aggregate demand. So the aggregate demand curve will shift to the left hand side by $500 billion. Okay. And I remember in our slides, we also talk about the crowding impact of the physical policy. So the crowding impact means the physical policy will crowd out private investment or private consumption okay so for example government tried to increase the infrastructure investment okay which means government will increase the government spending on infrastructure however that might crowding out the private investment okay so you can notice it tells you now the multiplier equal five so we have the multiplier equal five and then it also tells you the crowding out effect will be $30 billion. Therefore, an increase in government spending by $20 billion will shift the aggregate demand curve to which direction and by how much, okay? So by this question, you can see the delta G, that will be the government spending increase, right? By $20 billion. So if the government spending increased by $20 billion originally, it will result in the change in aggregate demand should equal to the change in government spending times the multiplier, okay? So we will use $20 billion times 5. It will result in $100 billion change in aggregate demand and is positive. However, this physical policy will crowd out maybe the private investment by $30 billion. Therefore, finally, okay, the final change in aggregate demand should equal to, this is the change in aggregate demand based on the government spending changes. However, we, our economy now will have this crowding out effect, which means we need to use this $100 billion, subtract the crowding effect. So finally, so finally, the change in aggregate demand will only equal to $70 billion. And then this is positive number, which means it will shift the aggregate demand curve to the right-hand side by $70 billion.